everyone. My name is Julie Jean Bassett, and this is What Does Fido Want on Moonstruck TV and A1R Radio. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the thymus gland. It's associated with the heart chakra. And as I mentioned before, I'm doing a, a series on animal chakras. Uh, well, the heart chakra is, is both for humans and animals. But the thymus gland is responsible for the production of white blood cells. And um, they're called T lymphocytes, otherwise known as T cells or killer cells. And it helps with fighting off infections and cancer cells. And it's a vital part of our immune system. Um, it's generally located behind the breastbone, uh, in front of the heart, and between the lungs. And in some people, though, it's uh, up a little bit higher. But if you suffer from anxiety or panic attacks or are overloaded with stress, you can thump your thymus gland several times a day and pretend like you're Tarzan and clench your fist and just thump it first time a little harder and then two times a little softer. Um, or you could just use your fingers. And what that does is it um, will stimulate all your energy. So if you're having like an afternoon slump, um, and it'll also boost your immune system. So it gives you both an energy and immune boost. So try that and see how that works for you. Um, there's a, another way to do it on your animals. Um, but I'll talk about that in a different session. Um, but if you want to check out my series on animal chakras, it's on my Facebook business page and Instagram. Um, Facebook business page is facebook.com forward slash J Bassett Animal Communicator. And Instagram is Julie Jean Bassett. And let's see, what else can we talk about? Uh, it is a pleasure to be with you here today. And if you'd like to, um, if you'd like to be on this show, go ahead and send me a uh, email at juliejeanbassett at gmail.com. And, um, I'd love to have you. Hi, Rosemary from Wichita. How are you? Hi. I'm okay. How are you doing? Too? What can I do for you today? I'm doing. Uh, I was just wanting to see if any of my loved ones uh, wanted to come through and say anything. Okay. <sighs> Let me get into your energy here. Um, I'm seeing, can you step a little forward, please? There's a older woman stepping forward. I'm getting okay. like a, uh, like maybe a grandmother or great grandmother. Okay. Um, and I'm also getting like a younger male. Okay. Who, who wants to speak? Okay, the older woman is expressing her love for you. She says she's okay. always with you. And she says some pain in your heart. And it seems like it's related okay. to this young male. Okay. What else do you have for her? Okay, the woman is showing me 
I'm assuming you sitting on her lap and reading together. Now she's showing me like uh, being in the kitchen together. Okay. And what is this young boy? I'm getting that this uh, young boy was killed suddenly. Possibly like a, a gunshot wound. Okay. Can you confirm any of this? Yes. Make sure I'm on the right track. Okay. Yes. And I'm seeing like a black truck. Okay. Hmm. And I'm seeing and they're okay. And they're saying gang initiation. Hmm. What? Tell me a little bit. I'm getting that he was shot in the chest, and he wasn't the only one shot. But he died fairly quickly. He's also telling me that not to blame yourself. There's nothing, and and he kind of shows me. Um, that you two argued before he left. He says, don't blame yourself. I know you were only trying to protect me. I love you so much. I'm sorry I left so soon. Do you have any questions you want to ask? We've got a couple minutes. I'm trying to see. If... Um, I'd like to know about the older lady, if you could okay. tell me. Okay. More. I mean, I have a grandmother and a great grandmother who passed. Or if, now they're showing. Um, they, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Now they're showing me. Did one of them teach you how to knit, or do needlework? Well, my grandmother sewed, and I do have one of her sewing machines, and I've tried to learn myself. Yeah, because she uh, shows me working with know. her hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she sewed a lot. <laughs> and she's showing me uh, um, like being a heavier set woman. Mm -hmm. And she's showing showing me with a like a white apron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she always wore aprons. <laughs> I actually have one of her aprons. Oh. Um, yeah, that's why she was showing that to yeah. me. Yeah, I have a white uh, apron of hers. It's really, really old, and I've never used it, um, but I have it. My dad gave it to me. It was his mom. Uh, uh, she just wants you to know how much nice. she loves you. And that um, she was there to greet your, I'm assuming this is your son. I do have a son this, who passed um, from a gunshot one, but it, it wasn't in the chest. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well, well, that's kind of what they were showing me, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he, 
he did die fairly quickly, but um, she was there to greet him when he crossed over. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he it looks like. With, go ahead. Is we're he we're kind of running out of time, so. Um, family members. We're going to have to. You know? I'm sorry. I just wanted to know with, if you know he was with other family members besides my grandma. Uh, yes, he's showing me a grandfather. Mm -hmm. And there, there's some other people in the background. And I can't. They're just like <laughs> shadows. Um, but mm -hmm. he's telling me that that yeah he was greeted by a lot of family. Okay. Okay. That's great. And uh, I'm sorry, we've only got 60 seconds left, so I'm going to have to end it there. I hope this was helpful for you. And I appreciate yeah, you being on my you show. So You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. And I'm so sorry about your son. It's awful. Thank you. Parents shouldn't outlive their children. Sending you so much love right now. Um, prayers and healing light. All right. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you joining me today. And uh, have a great rest of your week. And I will see you next week. Same time, same station. Bye, everyone. Bye.